Hi, it's Eddie here. Does any of my viewers have Freeview Plus? Recently, Freeview did a software upgrade and it's completely ruined my box. I used to program it to record neighbours at 1.45 in the afternoon and it worked beautifully. They do a software upgrade and now it records it six times. At the end of the week, I've got 30 bloody well copies of neighbors six a day all the same program I've, I've tried to contact you view there's no free number to contact them about it I've tried to go online you yeah, are put off they're just trying to sell you something are there other people like me who's got the same problem I can't use the free view to anything because it just fills up the hard drive Everything you, rec if you record something on channel 5, it also records it on 5 plus. It also records it on 5 star. And that's why you get six copies of Neighbours. I've had to use my satellite box to record them and it doesn't have enough room on it to uh, copy all the things. Why do they, why can't they leave things alone when they work? There's a very old saying, if, it, if it's working, don't fix it. But these software millionaires are idiots. They think they're gods. They change things just the way they want it. And it is ridiculous. You can't even, the pop-ups, you can't control them. You either have to have them off or on all the time. They pop up when you don't want them. All you need is a button that you press and you get your pop-up. And then you press your button again and the pop-up goes away. Nothing complicated about that at all. And I am... I am seriously thinking of scrapping Freeview and going to Freesat. I uh, I have four outlets on my dish and I can add, easily add a Freesat box to it. But they'll never learn. They are just stupid. I don't think they have the right to change the settings on my box without my permission. I paid for the box. I got the software, I set it up, it was working perfectly how I liked it. I'm a retired electronics engineer, so I know how these things work. And it's nothing to do with the equipment, it's purely the software that's installed. And all that's going to happen if you use it like it is now, is it, it'll fill the hard drive up and wear the hard drive out. Because what you don't realise is every time you record something and delete it, each time you do that, the hard drive gets weaker. So it doesn't last forever. And uh, the only programs I've been able to record now are ones that are not repeated anywhere. If they're not repeated anywhere, then you're all right. For instance, if you record the new series of Midsummer Murders, it says record the series. When you say record the series, you mean that series, not every series. Because if you do that, it, rec it records all the, all the repeats as well. They're bonkers, and they'll never learn. You need somebody like intelligent, like me, telling them what to do. I know all about the way computers and the electronics work, but I know nothing about the way software works. I actually worked on Commodore 64s when the computers first ever came out, and I even I was even able to program them using BASIC, but. What they're doing today is they have no idea. And the same thing applies to goods. They design things without cleaning in mind. Yeah, uh, you, uh, if you ever tr had trouble with a, a gas cooker and the hob, I keep getting things hooked on the bloody bulb. There's no need for it. All they did to do is make a loop instead of a, a pointed sharp hook on it. No, these people that design these things should be made to use them for six months before they put them out and clean them. And uh, I'm glad I got that off my chest. And I would welcome other people would join me in complaining about these things. There's plenty of things that uh, software people get up to. It, uh, I, I complained about uh, station identification and Sky has stopped doing it. On Sky 1 and Sky Atlantic and that. Which is great. So somebody must have listened to what I mentioned in the past. So let's hope that, that somebody takes notice of what I'm saying now. I've had uh, over 40 years in the electronics trade. I started off working in valves. 
uh, Americans would call them tubes. And uh, the stuff today, you, you switch a thing on today and it takes longer to warm up and an old valve set took to warm up because the bloody thing's got to boot up. And the reason it takes so long to boot up is because there's so much bloody software on there that's not necessary. All you need is a program guide, and click on it and it records that program. If you want to record the series, it records that series at that time and only that program. Before the upgrade, it was brilliant because if for some reason it was unable to record it, for instance I'd accidentally turned it off or there was a power failure, it would record a later program. That was great because you never missed anything. But no, it, the only you don't miss anything. You just get it six times. <laughs> oh well, that's all I have to say about it. Please Twitter me, Twitter free view if you can. I tried to, but I don't know how. I can't even find a phone number to phone free view to complain about it. I just get FAQs, and there's nothing on FAQs about software upgrades. I wish they just leave stuff alone when, when it's set up right thank you very much <laughs> have a good laugh at this won't you <laughs> goodbye all my fans